Up at 6 o'clock tonight, changes to a well-traveled roundabout near downtown Grand Rapids are causing some confusion for drivers. Over the weekend, the city changed the lane configurations at the wealthy Jefferson roundabout near Mary Freebed and St. Mary's Hospitals. 24 All News 8's Joe Lafergi is live with what you need to know now, Joe. Yeah, Brian, take a look uh, here at the roundabout. Now, prior to this weekend, traffic hitting the roundabout here at Jefferson and Wealthy could use both lanes to get all the way through the roundabout and make the round. The change allows just the inside lane to continue through the roundabout. The outside lane has to turn right. Now, it sounds simple, but not every driver is getting it. It seems like there's a, a little bit of confusion on the commuters uh, as to what is the process they need, need to follow. We headed up to the roof of Mary Freebed Rehabilitation Hospital's new building on the northeast corner of Wealthy and Jefferson with Security Chief Sinas Rodriguez to get a bird's eye view of the problem. Watch as one, two, three vehicles come close to playing an unintended game of roundabout bumper cars. They're not seeing that the, uh, the outside lane is the, uh, the lane that you're supposed to uh, make a right uh, onto Jefferson. Under the old configuration, drivers could use both lanes to get through the roundabout, with outer lane drivers having the option to exit right. But that path led to not just a number of parallel sideswipe crashes, a lot of pedestrians, mostly Mary Freebed employees, using the crosswalks between Jefferson and Lafayette, had to dodge drivers distracted by the old lane configuration. And so not only have one vehicle, but you had two vehicles of drivers that are concerned about hitting each other, not aware of the pedestrian that was in the crosswalk. So the city worked with Mary Freebed and some of their employees to come up with a solution. City traffic safety engineers think the new configuration will eventually eliminate dueling vehicles in the intersection, which carries about 42,000 vehicles a day. But what about the current problem? The city put up signs warning motorists of the change. From the looks of things, a lot of drivers are missing them. Officials hope time will cure that problem. Just like with any construction detour, that first week or so is, is always the worst. Back here live at uh, Jefferson and Wealthy. Now, we checked the numbers, too, on crashes here. Zell tells me the number of crashes now since the roundabout has been put in is about the same as it was when this was a traditional intersection, but he says it's still a safer intersection because the crashes are slower speed, kind of the sideswipe variety that don't cause as much injuries as a T-bone crash will at a normal intersection. Those can be really dangerous. Live in Grand Rapids, Joe Lafergie, 24-hour news 8. Okay, Joe Lafergie reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Joe.